Hey guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play on my channel. I am going to be doing Tomb Raider on the PlayStation 3. Yes, that's what won the vote. Actually, Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7 was actually uh, Tomb Raider and Lego Harry Potter had the same amount of votes. So I'm actually going to be doing both. But I'll be starting Tomb Raider first, and then um, after a few days I'll be starting LEGO Harry Potter. So I really do like this game. I've only played through it uh, entirely one time, but it was really good. And I've watched many Let's Plays of it as well. I really love this game, I love the story. I'm going to be playing on easy because I'm not that good, so don't judge me. Something that keeps us going. Something that pushes us. Damn, we're hanging! Oh no, Lara! So, of course, we need to find a way to get down from here. So, we need to use the fire. Yes. And yes, this is going to hurt. Of course it will. This is Tomb Raider. Of course, everything's going to hurt. You just need to swing with your analog stick, by the way really easy first stone.
I really do feel badly for Laura. Like, everything happens with her and she's getting hurt all the time. Uh, but first, before we do anything else, I'm just going to turn on uh, subtitles. Uh, because sometimes it's a bit difficult to hear what they're saying throughout the game. And also, it's easier for me when doing post-commentary to, to know what they're saying. Because I obviously can't hear anything what they're saying when I'm doing post-commentary. Yeah, there's a body just hanging up there. Looks like a ritual of some sort. So, as you saw from the story, uh, Lara and her crew members have washed up on shore because their ship... Um, something happened with the ship that we'll see later on in the game. But Lara has... Uh, she's not together with her crew because someone has kidnapped her. So we need to find a way out of this cave and get back to our crew members, our friends. So we're going to have to be really careful when you're new. When doing this. Yeah, and this is really tense. What I really do like about the game is that it's just tense. I don't know. I don't know why I like that, but it's... I'm kind of on my toes like the entire time I'm playing this game. So that's one of the reasons why I really love it. So if you like this, it will explode over there. Watch out, don't get hurt. Like that. And now we can try to get out of here. By going through the tunnel. Oh no! We're not coming back, and you're not trying to help Lara. No, you're not. Just keep moving. Look how disgusting it is in here, too. Like skulls everywhere and dirty stuff everywhere. Just imagine swimming in this water right here. Just imagine it. It does not sound, sound fun at all. So right over here, uh, we have a little puzzle that we're going to be doing. If you're unsure of what uh, you're supposed to be doing, you can just press the L2 button. That helps you and shows you what you're supposed to do. So we need to blow up that in the end so that we can try to get out. Yeah, it's a weird contraption, isn't it? It really is. It really feels really weird to be doing like this let's play. I don't know why, it just feels a bit weird. But I really do like the fact that I'm going to be doing this now. I bet I'm going to really, really enjoy this let's play. And I've actually been looking forward to doing it too. So that's great. So over here is something you can push. But you can't push it just yet. I was just trying to push it for like ages right here. But you're not supposed to push this thing just yet. We need to do something more before we can do this part. If you look around, here is uh, the L2 button comes in handy. That's what it does. Uh, the things are lit up, kind of. That's the survival instinct. And they will show you what you're supposed to do. So now you can see those flaming boxes just went up into that box that we tried to push. So now we can go up again. And we can try pushing it again. Now that there, there's something in it. And now the boxes goes down here and that will make the way for us. Yeah, now we need to get out. And now it's actually really tense again because the music is starting and you're kind of like, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, basically. And you're just like, I need to run, kind of. 
happening. Oh my god. So many things are happening. Poor Laura. Oh my god. And the light keeps changing, like, yeah. It disappears and then there comes a new light and stuff like that. You just have to keep running. Laura runs by herself, so you just have to worry about jumping and that sort of thing. And here he is again! And I actually failed this part, so... Yeah. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. We just have to try again. But that's one thing that I find... Um, Oh, I already died in the game, and I'm even playing on easy. I, I said I'm not the best at the game, but I'm trying my best. Um, I do find these things a little bit difficult when you have to press the buttons right here. Because sometimes, if you're like millisecond too slow, then you'll basically die. So at those things, I will actually fail a couple of times throughout the game, uh, unfortunately. But I really do find those parts... To be difficult, I really do. And we just need to climb as fast as we can to get to the end. And dodge the rocks, obviously. Just look at her, she's like superwoman. She's amazing. Here we go, here we go. Get out. That title screen is so beautiful. It looks so amazing. Now that we're out of here, we can try to focus on finding our friends again. Now that we have escaped the crazy man's cave. The lifeboat. Where are they? They must have gone inland. So obviously they're on the island somewhere because we saw a lifeboat, but they're probably more inland, so we need to try and get to them. And now we have to get across this log. Like Lara, she does the most crazy things. She really does. I don't, um, like, of, of, obviously this is the PlayStation 3 game, so it's a new-ish game. But I haven't played the PlayStation 1 versions of Tomb Raider, like the original Tomb Raider games. I haven't played those, so I don't know how those games are. I, I haven't even watched like Let's Plays of it. But I would actually really like to try and play the PS1 versions sometimes. It's not the PS1 version, that's the original games. This is a new game. The story isn't like the same or anything, I think. But I would actually really like to try the PlayStation 1 games. I don't know if any of you guys watching this video have played those games. If any of you have, please comment and tell me about them or send me a message or whatever. I would really like to know more about them. Obviously they're really old though, so it's not probably not the same thing. And now she's climbing on an airplane. You can basically see what parts you're supposed to climb on. Uh, I don't know, the railings. Oh no. Oh, be careful. Yeah. Now we're finished with that part. So we can continue going in. If you have a lot of like questions about what kind of island is this and what's happening and what's going on, then all of those answers will come later on in the game. I promise. It's going to be a lot of explanation further on. The story in this game is amazing. And 
then yes, I will be starting Lego Harry Potter a few days, in a few days. We're just going to focus on this game for a little bit first. That's their packs at least, so we know we're on the right trail at least. No, don't fall! <laughs> oh my god, she's like falling everywhere. She really is. This The coastal forest, I think it looks a bit scary here in the coastal forest because it's, I don't know, it's dark and obviously it's a forest so it's a little bit scary. And there are wolves here too, so... It's extra scary. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. You've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamata... No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamata. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. Don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. 
I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> the stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously you know, cons... Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? Thank you guys so much for watching the first part. I know it was short. Hope you'll join me in the next part. See you then. Bye bye.